Is it worth dreaming impossible dreams? Think about it. What is the alternative? Should you not dream at all? Or only dream reasonable dreams? It is, I believe, our nature to yearn for the impossible and fail or actually against all odds and all expectations, even our own, achieve them. Achieving impossible goals is what we have been doing for thousands of years. Impossible, unthinkable, and we are now living those things that thousands of years ago people like us have only dreamt about. You may have heard that uh, a Japanese entrepreneur, after having sold his business, booked a flight around the moon to take off in two years and maybe a few years later, doesn't matter, and he is bringing eight people with him at no cost to any of them. It is his gift to these fellow travelers. And I signed up to be potentially chosen to be one of those eight. What is the likelihood that I will be chosen? I don't know, but certainly it is not one in ten, it is not one in hundred, it is not one in thousand. Is it one in a million? Is it one in ten million? If I want to go in space, and I do, are alternative paths more likely? Is this an impossible dream? Certainly, as with many things. If you don't try, you are guaranteeing that it is not going to happen. And if you try and it doesn't happen, you may learn a lot of things along the way. This around the moon trip is going to be amazing. The vehicle is SpaceX Starship. It is being uh, developed and tested. The latest flight was just a few days ago as I am recording this. It was SN10, serial number 10 of this completely new reusable vehicle. And for the first time it was able to land after taking off and achieving an altitude of 10 kilometers from where it uh, started falling and maneuvering so that it would be able to turn itself straight up, re-alight its engines and slow its descent until it would stop at the precise location expected. A few minutes later it exploded, but that is another story. And this is the vehicle that is supposed to be carrying uh, 12 people. The nine passengers and three professional crew uh, in this amazing trip. Three days going, three days coming back. No descending on the moon. Turning around, looking at the dark side of the moon, which is not dark, it's just uh, the one that we don't see and then seeing Earth rise as you come around and you see Earth again. Six days of uh, weightlessness and uh, incredible opportunities for experiencing life in space. Now, whether we are talking about space, whether we are talking about reforming, refounding a nation, whether we are talking about scientific exploration, 
or a new art form or writing a novel or preparing for a profession, searching and finding a person to marry and spend your life with. Dreams like this are exhilarating and fantastic and uplifting and they are wonderful to share. Regardless of the outcome, if I am not going to be chosen to be one of the eight fellow travelers uh, in this uh, around the moon journey in two years, well, I believe it will have been worth to participate. It doesn't matter how far, especially today, when participation is so many ways in the digital realm. Uh, when you sign up on the website, Dear Moon, you are issued uh, a certificate with your face uh, smartly uh, put behind the uh, latest generation SpaceX space suit. And uh, you can then proudly share that uh, certificate, which is numbered, uh, with uh, your uh, online platforms and your contacts, friends, connections, can cheer it, can be inspired by it, uh, can ask themselves, what is this craziness? Like my mother did, who uh, was a bit confused and I am now planning to call her to explain. Yeah, I may go or not. And our ability to play with these ideas, experiment with them until they become reality, is the joy of exploration, experimentation. And how smart is this uh, Japanese entrepreneur who um, wants to involve other people, wants to turn his adventure from a solitary experience uh, still valuable into something that has a multiplying effect, not times eight, probably times eight million or more. How many people who apply, who tell uh, about their application to their friends and so on and so forth. And this kind of multiplier effect is the beauty of sharing initiatives knowing the risk that the uh, scrutiny uh, of others, um, hopefully positively supporting the quest, but sometimes criticizing is going to come. And reflecting yourself, being able to judge the path and the steps that you are taking through your conviction, through your understanding of the value of the mission, but also the value of the path and each of the steps. The value of space exploration is in itself. The technological benefits uh, of uh, what we are able to do and learn and apply in so many different areas on Earth by themselves uh, justify it. But space exploration as a metaphor of our desire to explore, of our desire to understand, is maybe even more precious, more valuable in what we want to achieve as individuals and as a civilization.